Hello Stormcast Eternal fans. Today I'm painting my first Griff Hound that come with the Mortal Realms magazine. I want to try and tie the colours in with my Sequitor colour scheme and you can change the colours up for different Griff Hounds. First I started with an undercoat of Corax White. I used a spray can but you can just use a brush to paint it all over with a few thin coats. So I'm going to put all the base coats on first. And the first colour I used was Ushapti Bone. I covered all the body and towel, the face, around the eyes and ears with this. Then I used Jacaro Orange and I painted the feathers around the neck. Next I used Thousand Sun Blue to paint the plume of hair on the head and at the end of the towel. This stage I then decided I wanted an orange pattern or fur patches down the back of the griff hound and at the tops of the front legs. You could make up any pattern you like for this. With the patches done, I moved on to a bad and black. I then painted the beak and the claws and also the leather strap that runs under the belly. Next I applied Celestra Grey to the armoured sections on the head and also painted the lightning symbols on the sides. I also painted the collar with Celestra Grey. Then I picked out all the metal areas with lead belcher, the spike on the front, the dog tag on his neck and any little studs. Now it's time to apply some shades. I started with Fugan Orange. I applied this all over the Jacara Orange and Ushapti Bone areas. Then it's on to Drakenhof Nightshade, which I applied the Lustre of Grey areas. Next I applied Nano Oil to the black and metal areas. I also applied the Nano Oil to the blue fur areas. And we are done with all the shades. And it's time for the next layers. First I went back to Ushapti Bone to tidy up the lower flesh areas and the face and the ears and I left as much shade between the orange and Ushapti bone to help blend the two colours together. Next was Araman blue on all the hair around the head and the towel leaving the shade in the recesses. Then I moved on to the armour areas, which I applied all through and grey to.
then use Troll Slayer Orange on the feathers around the neck and on the body, but with the back, I wanted it to look like fur, so I used lines in layers trying to create the fur. On the black areas, I used SN Grey to create a thick edge highlight. Then I did a layer on the metal areas of Iron Breaker. Now with each section having one layer done, it's time to move on to the next layers. All the blue areas are getting a highlight of Temple Guard Blue. The lower body areas and around the eyes and ears are getting a highlight of pallid witch flesh all over these shakti bone areas. I tried to replicate the tabards and robe areas on my storm cast, but it didn't quite work out as well as I wanted it to. So something to try on the next one will be making the lower body fur the same as the top as well. final highlight on the orange areas is with Fire Dragon Bright, which I was using small lines on all the raised areas to try and create patches of fur. Black areas get an edge highlight of administratum grey. The white areas get an edge highlight of white scar. Final highlight would be to the metal areas using Stormhost Silver.
and that completes the painting of our first Griff Hound. All that's left to do is paint the base, the same way as my other Stormcast, which I have created a video on my channel you can check out. Thanks for watching, hope you want to give this a try, don't forget to subscribe, if you want to comment leave me a comment, let me know if there's anything you want me to do in future, and I'll see you in the next videos.